Yeah. The French Kiwi oh, Juice, oh, one of my favorite oh, tracks. Baby. Yeah. Oh, baby. Uh. Oh, baby. We're going to New York. <laughs> Just kidding. Sebastian's <laughs> off to LA. Baby. <laughs> Hello everyone, happy Saturday, I believe. Yes, it is Saturday um, in the afternoon. As you guys saw, we dropped Sebastian off at the airport. He is off to California just for a couple days. He will be back on Monday. Um, and I thought that I would just vlog this weekend, kind of showing you like what I do when the man's out of town. Um, not anything fun or exciting because he's my friend and is like the person I want to spend most of my time with, but I don't know, I thought it would be interesting just to kind of see what my life is kind of by myself, if you will. And I just haven't vlogged in a while, so I don't know. I thought it'd be fun. If it's not, sorry. Um, yeah, we just went, I actually, so we went to drop him off at the airport and then I met up with Mikel and Lexi to get our pedicures done for Vegas. We go to Vegas uh, on Thursday this week. I'm so excited. So yeah, we went to this amazing place. It literally looked like spit. Um, it literally looked like the Paris Hotel in Vegas where it has like the little fake sky and stuff. It was really, really fun. They gave us drinks. Well, we had Coke, but <laughs> I think you could have whatever you wanted. But we had some Coke and I spilled trying to get that content. Um, and then we got our pedicure. So I got some Oh my gosh, I literally, I literally look like a duck. I got pink. Yeah, I just went for a cute little pink pink. That was probably the grossest shot of my foot. But now I'm home, I just, whoa, I'm like, yeah, so now I'm home and I don't really have much planned. Um, yeah, I'll probably just check up, check on you guys when we get up there. So yeah, I hope that you guys enjoy this vlog. Um, kind of like a nice little weekend in my life. Um, I thought that I would show you guys some wedding updates. Um, I haven't even done, I think, a video about our wedding or our progress on our wedding. Um, stressed out, central. My skin is like, I don't know why I'm so stressed, but it is a stressful time to plan a wedding and I... I've just been like overwhelmed with all of the little details um because yeah our wedding is coming so soon it is so crazy but I thought I would have um I ordered some cute vow books from uh Etsy I can link it below I thought that those would have come today but I, I think they come on Monday so I don't have that to share but we got my wedding band and I got it from Ale what is it called Olive Ave um it's where my ring is from I really love them. They're based out of Arizona. And we got our wedding band and it's so pretty. So I really just wanted it to be um, kind of all the diamonds that kind of match the outside of my ring. I just wanted it to be completely diamonds, nothing else. Here it is. You guys probably can't really see it. Um, we do have to return it though. I don't know how, but like it's a little bit bigger than, like it's big. So it like makes my fingers kind of stick out. I don't know, if, but like it looks so gorgeous. Isn't that so pretty? So we are gonna get in contact with them to see if, oh, I almost lost it, to see if we can return it and have them swap it out in time. If not, it's totally doable for the wedding and then we can just get it um, resized after because like those things don't really matter to me as long as like it's here and it's pretty, um, we can make it work for sure. So. I got the 1.3 millimeter, um, just diamonds all around. It's so beautiful. I'm so excited to have like something stacked with this ring just cause I've been wearing this ring for almost a year now and I'm like, I need something new. Um, so yeah, I'm very excited that that came and then my wedding shoes also came. So still waiting for my dress to be completed. I believe, well I go on the 8th for one of like my last fittings and like one of my first. Anyway, that's another video. Um, so I go on the 8th of April and then the 20th, it's done. So 
I'm so excited, but I thought I would just go ahead and buy some shoes that I like. If they don't work with the dress for some reason, um, I can just easily return them. But I got them from Nordstrom, and they are um, the Nima brand. Look at how gorgeous they are. So they have like this. I actually got these because I follow Frankie... <coughs> I follow Frankie Garza on Instagram and YouTube and I really love her and I really love her style and she's also getting married and she showed us her shoes and I was like purchasing they're so beautiful so they're just these gorgeous satin um, heel the heel is like pretty manageable I wore them around they feel really good and then um, it has like a little swoop across the front so it's a little bit skinnier here and then thicker and it just makes it a lot I feel like more wearable, like it's just very comfortable. And then to die, look at how gorgeous these are. They're so pretty. And then I originally was like, oh, you're not going to be able to really see them because obviously my dress is long. But then I remembered um, we are adding a zipper um, along the bottom of the dress so that around the reception um, when it gets closer to us leaving and we're like dancing whatever we can just unzip the bottom and it, it's just like a cute little mini dress which I am so excited about but then I thought oh that'd be so fun because then you can see my shoes if that makes sense so it would be like a fun little surprise at the reception and I just really love them so I can link them below um yeah and I'm hoping that they will work pretty well but again they were just at Nordstrom, so they're easily returnable. So I will have these for my fitting coming up, which I'm very excited about. And there, I am making a whole video about kind of like the process of redesigning my dress. And obviously that will be up before, no, after my wedding. So stay tuned for that. Um, you will obviously see the progress of the dress which I'm excited to share. Um, yeah, I just wanted to kind of give you a little bit of updates on the wedding. I have my bachelorette party on Thursday, like I mentioned. I have all of the favors, which I considered showing, but then I was like, oh, they'll, like, if my friends watch this, then it won't be a surprise. So <laughs> I think I'm going to wait until um, after, after we go to Vegas. But yeah, I'm very excited. There's a lot of fun things coming up. A lot of, like... Things that are making me stressed out for no reason, but that is a wedding, I guess. Um, yeah, now I am going to eat some lunch and probably I have to edit, uh, film a video today. So I'm probably going to film, I'm probably going to take a nap because whenever Sebastian's out of town, I like love taking naps and he doesn't. So I kind of like to take full advantage of taking a nap. So I'll probably do that and then, yeah, just kind of check up with you guys later throughout the whole weekend of what I get done um but yeah I think now I need to eat something because I'm so starving hello you guys it is a few hours later it's not the best angle here I'm sorry the lighting's really bad but um it is about it's 703 and I've just been like getting on with some stuff at the house and some work stuff like Nothing really fun to show, so I haven't been filming, but I need to get ready because I'm meeting up with a couple, well, with Lexi and Macau again tonight. Um, we're going out to this bar for um, her parents' birthday? Yes, her mom, Lexi's mom's birthday. But I wanted to just quickly, I have to pop on some more makeup because I'm struggling. I also realized, I was like looking at my face trying to figure out why I'm like breaking out in this area. like. I had my period already, couldn't figure it out, I don't have any new products, and then I think I realized, aside from all of the stress like I've been kindly putting on myself, I really think it's because last week I didn't pick up any lemons at the grocery store, like I completely forgot, and you guys know I only go to the grocery store once a week, like that's it. If I forget something, like we just go without it or whatever, you know? Um, and I didn't pick up lemons, and I swear to you that is like causing this breakout, which is so annoying, because I, like, religiously drink lemon water by, like, the gallon, and I'm so bad. So, we need to cover that up. Um, but I thought I would just quickly run through my makeup. I finally picked up the new, um, e.l.f. 16-hour uh, camo concealer. It looks like this. It's a, supposed to be a nice little dupe for the Shape Tape concealer. So I'm very excited because it's like $5. I'm obsessed already. It's like a nice thick 
tube has a nice little applicator just kind of like shape tape so I'm very excited to use that I got mine in fair warm I just really wasn't sure the colors like they didn't have a lot at my Walmart so I just went with that but I thought I would just show my makeup really quickly I'm just gonna kind of speed through probably most of it um, but I'm just starting out with the Glossier priming moisturizer I love this this is like my fifth time using it and I love it I mean maybe that's adding to my skin I don't really know but I'm also gonna spritz some uh, wet n wild coconut three-in-one primer love this stuff I am going to take um, this L'Oreal True Match Lumi Glow Amour little dropper I don't know this is like a little highlighter I'm going to take like a drop or two in my hand as well and mix it around with my Wet n Wild foundation. This is the Photo Focus. I absolutely love this foundation. So I'm just going to mix those two. And I've been mixing these two together like when I go out or have something to do um, for a few weeks and I actually love it. Ugh, I'm wearing my ring and I hate wearing my ring when I do my makeup. It's still so dirty. And I'm just taking that with my hands. I just felt like this just helps when I'm like in a hurry. Oh my gosh. Um, it kind of helps when I'm in a hurry as well as like, I don't know. I just like it. Clearly I'm doing a great tutorial for you guys. And then I'm going to take my... Real Technique sponge and just kind of, especially along the um, like creases of my face, I'm gonna pat that in. Okay, foundation is done. Again, this lighting is so bad, but just like a quick, easy base. Okay, and then I'm gonna go in with the new e.l.f. concealer. Probably just do a little bit because it is pretty light. Like, are you kidding? Ugh! I hate these breakouts. They are so frustrating. Ooh! A little bit goes a long way. That is definitely concealed. Oh my gosh, I put on way too much. Ugh. Breakouts seriously make me not want to leave the house. And I already, I don't know if anyone else struggles with this, but I already struggle with like nights out. Like I don't really love to go out, especially when Sebastian's not here. I just, I don't know. I just don't really want to go out. Like I, I truly love being at home and... So it's like I'm already trying to pet myself up to try and go out tonight and then I have these horrible breakouts which just even though everyone has ugh, problems with their skin or you know problems of some sort it's just so hard to like buck yourself up I want to go and talk to people ugh. oh I am just um what is this called setting my face with the Lancome absolute powder I love this stuff, maybe. It's kind of a hard bottle to read, but yeah, I love this stuff. It's so gorgeous. Because I know that my eyes will crease, I'm gonna go in with the Maybelline Fit Me um, uh, setting powder, and I'm just gonna put a little bit under my eyes because there's a lot of concealer under there. Quickly gonna add the color back into my uh, skin with the Wet n Wild contouring palette. Again, this is one of my favorites. I think the thing I love about this bronzer is I'm so sloppy with it, but like as it sets, I feel like it just goes where I like initially meant to put it. Um, this is the Milani Baked Blush in Luminoso. This never changes. I really love this. And then I'm going to highlight with, 
um, the Mary Lou Luminizer. I have been like obsessed with this. I remember when I kind of was first getting into makeup and I worked at a makeup store. I would like want to sell this to everyone. I loved it so much. So this is by The Bomb. Love it. It's just like such a good one to kind of go back to every once in a while. So just a quick little highlight. You guys, this is the worst lighting. I'm so sorry. But I thought that it would be good to still just like talk you through the products at least. Um, and then that's all for my face. So I'm going to set it again with the Wet n Wild primer. I already have my eyes. Oh, I just sprayed my mascara. I already have my eyes done. But I'm just going to quickly go in with the Zoella X ColourPop Brunch Date. Palette, it is so beautiful. I love this. So I'm just gonna take um, maple syrup, which is just right here, just a nice little brown transition sh shade. Blah, blah, that was hard. And then I'm just gonna hurry and like buff this. Not really much for the eyes. I'm just doing like one shade. I'm gonna go in with my Essence. I love Extreme. Mascara. I think I need a new one because this like throughout the day I can see that it like flakes which bugs me. I don't like it. So I think that means I need a new one or maybe it's just the mascara. I don't know because if you've been watching me for a bit um, I love like when my mascara is a little bit older because I feel like I can work with it better and I always do like cover girl. And they always work out really well for me when they get a little bit older. But this one has not. I am just going to hit my brows quickly with the NYX Micro Brow Pencil and then the NYX Control Freak. Um, this is what I set my brows. So I'm just going to quickly do them. Okay, conveniently, I ran out of my brow stuff. So this is just a great night to go out on the town my goodness um so i'm gonna do my lips really quick i've been doing this combo for like the past two weeks and i've been so obsessed with it i'm taking the zoella x color pop lippy stick in oh snap it is so gorgeous it's almost at the end okay so a quick line and then I just randomly one day at Ulta picked up their Ulta Beauty, um, like, lip sticks. I don't really know, like, if they're called anything. Um, this is called Barely There, and it, yeah, it's just, like, one of their cream, uh, lipsticks, and it's so gorgeous. I love it. Okay, please ignore <laughs> the mess, um, but this is what I'm going for. I just have on my American Eagle jeans. I do not know when I'm gonna stop wearing these. I love them so hard and so much. They just have the cutest rip. They hit me right at the ankle. Like they're just so flattering, so cute. And then underneath, um, I just have on this bodysuit. I don't know if you can tell. I don't know what I'm trying to show you. <laughs> it has like some floral details, but I just really like, I wanted to wear like a long sleeve. So I really like the different dimensions. You kind of can't see, but it has a nice little floral pattern. You can kind of see my skin through it. And then I just have on this Ramones little graphic tee. Um, have my hair super messy. Maybe I'll show you guys the products I put in my hair pretty quickly. Look at me going out, showing my products. Like, we're gonna turn off Ariana Grande. Okay, I kind of have you stable. Um, so I just have my hair parted to the left, which I normally don't do, but it just did it on its own, so I'm keeping it. And then I ran a couple curls. I kind of just curl like six on this side, a couple on this side in the back. I don't ever touch um, like my bottoms. I just like the volume that it gives. And then for like styling, um, I always hit my ends with the Kristen S working serum. I don't know if it's showing. I am obsessed with this stuff. I love it so much. And then this is, um, I don't know, this is like a Walmart brand. I think it's like a ripoff of the BJK, BKG, I don't know, you know that brand? Um, that literally looks just like this, but this is the SGX NYC salon graphic. I don't really know. I just picked it up at Walmart because it looked like that brand that I'm talking about. And this is the Do It All 3-in-1 Dry Texture Spray. And I just like, 
go to my ends and then just like ruffle it around and it gives my hair the best texture and I think it is because it does have a little bit of like it really does say it's like dry shampoo meets hairspray so it like refreshes and texturizes but also holds it into place because it is that hairspray um so I love this stuff so cheap again it's at Walmart and I'm obsessed with it so I use that and then um I just have on like a like I don't know generic brand hairspray I'm not really picky with my hair stuff I do like high low as with like everything in my life but that is the hair and makeup you can kind of see a little bit better my makeup my earrings I got these at Aeropostale they're so cute they came in a set of like three so I have the gold ones on and then I don't know why I'm so hysterically out of breath it's a little sad um I just have on this little lightning bolt choker which I thought was very cute rings I always wear my Sebastian ring and my wedding ring of course or engagement ring I don't know the difference um, and then these are my nails. I'm very cheetah today, but yeah, we did fun nails for my bachelorette party. Um, they're different on both hands, like the cheetah print. I don't know if you guys will care, but I really like that they're different. So that is the look that we're going for. Just like very cool. Like I like to go out. I like to have fun, but really I just want to be watching Netflix. Look. We are on our way home safely. Yes. We're gonna <laughs> we're gonna try and find an Uber. I mean, uh, Taco, Taco Bell. Bell. Taco Bell. Taco Good morning. Bell. Happy Sunday. Um, my son done yes. Happy Sunday. I just filmed. I'm in my same outfit that I wore last night because I'm disgusting. Um, but no, I had to film a video today. So I thought I would just wear what I wore last night. I was kind of feeling it. But I just filmed. It's in my bag coming soon. And just like look at the amount of gum wrappers I just like leave and will refuse to throw away. I'm proud of myself though I only had one packet of empty gum. I felt like on a normal week or month I will go like there'll be like six packs of gum in there which is kind of crazy. Um, but yeah it is a Sunday. I'm actually working today so just been working. I also just filmed a video which was nice. I talked to Sebastian a little bit. He's out doing his thing in California. He's so He's just, he makes me so proud. So it's, yeah, he's been keeping in touch with me, which is nice. We have had the gloomiest day. Very gloomy and wet and rainy, which isn't bad. Um, I kind of like it, especially when I, and I'm, ugh, I just had a stroke, especially when I'm at home working by myself. It's nice to just like cuddle up and be cozy. Um, yes just been working um, this morning I had work at 8 which wasn't hard to get up I thought it was gonna be oh my gosh I can't talk I thought it was gonna be a lot harder to get up seeing as yesterday we were out late um, but no I popped right up and I feel good I feel really good I I'm gonna finally get out of the house later today after I get off work. I'm gonna go grocery shopping. <laughs> We're gonna go to Trader Joe's. I have been for the last hour <laughs> like Googling must haves from Trader Joe's. I feel like I'm getting into that like pro stage of Trader Joe's, but I'm still like very new, very insecure. When I'm looking around, I don't wanna feel like, oh, I've never been here before. I try to just get what I already know, which is silly because I wanna look around and I wanna pick up new things. So I've been like Googling and screenshotting all of like the must have items that I should get. So I will show you guys what I pick up. We are not gonna go crazy with grocery shopping this week because I leave on Thursday for Vegas. So, but I still wanna have stuff obviously around for Sebastian to eat, so. We'll see what we get, and I'll show you guys, but yeah, that is today. Just a lot of work. I know I'm a little cut off, but um, I'm back in my comfy clothes, and I'm just going to get on with a little bit more work. I also have to edit a video, and I'm going to crack on this edit as well, just so I'm a little bit more ahead of the game for when I leave on Thursday. Um, but yeah, I'm just going to sit here for a bit. I'm snacking on my most favorite treat. Speaking of like Trader Joe's things, these are so good. These are the dark chocolate almonds with sea salt and terminado sugar. They're so freaking good. My, I told my mom to get them and she was like, they look dirty and they do look like a little dirty, but it's just the sugar, you know? They're very good. So I'm gonna snack on these, get some work done.
We are ready to go to the store. This is literally what I'm wearing <laughs> for, the, for the grocery store, but I don't know. I just am now kind of having like a little bit of a headache. My neck hurts for some reason, and so I'm just trying to like be as comfortable as possible. Um, and just like run in and out of the store. So I have my list here, I have my bags. I probably won't even need the green one, but I'm just gonna bring it just in case. I'm gonna go to Trader Joe's. I'm gonna try my hardest to vlog a little bit in there. I'm hoping since it's like the evening, it's not as busy, but you never know. So um, we'll see how we get on with that. Am I forgetting anything? No, I have my bag, I have these bags. Um, yeah, we're gonna jump in the car and head off to Trader Joe's. Home now, successful Trader Joe's shop. I spent $41.66, so very happy about that. I like to stay within my budget of 50. So we were a little bit under because we didn't really need a lot. We have a lot of chicken and we have a ton of frozen vegetables and like grains. So I just kind of wanted to get those filler items. Um, so I'll do a quick little run through of what I got. Um, I'll start over here. I picked this up. This is the mandarin orange chicken. I picked this up because on that list, like I saw this like six times of like the number one thing to get at Trader Joe's. And when I was checking out, the guy was like, this is my favorite thing ever. And I was like, okay, I'm excited. So I think this will be good for just like quick, easy dinners this week. Um, I also picked up a spinach and ricotta pizza because it just looked really good and I thought that tonight this might be good to have with like a salad on the side. Um, I don't know, just because it's just me tonight. I don't really feel like cooking a ton and we don't really have a ton of leftovers so I thought this might be good. Um, I picked up sour cream, needed this for a recipe and then this was also on the list to get. This is organic buffalo style hummus. I'm so obsessed with like the buffalo flavoring. So I feel like this is gonna be so good. So I'm so excited about that. Uh, just got some eggs. We like to get the jumbo free range eggs. So, and I like the brown ones. I think they're just really pretty. Um, and then I got some baby carrots to go in the hummus and just to snack on. And then, oh my gosh, I literally have never seen these before. And this is like, I'm such a sucker for stuff like this mini brie bites like are you kidding so not a purchase that we'll get all the time but i was like that would be fun to have so i got those <laughs> got some butter i like to get the Kerrygold butter this is pretty i mean it's not it's more expensive than your average butter but it's so worth it it tastes so good so i use this on things like breads muffins things like that go on top of it um so yeah, I really like it, my favorite. String cheese, Sebastian loves to have string cheese. Um, it's like a quick, easy snack on the go for him, so I like to have that in the house. I got this Southwest um, chopped salad, just because I thought it would go with the pizza, like I was kind of feeling the Southwest. So I might have this tonight. Ugh, I picked up my lemons. I'm so excited to have them back in my house, so lemons it is. I picked up a cucumber. Um, and I also picked up this pita bread because I was craving like a hummus, cucumber, pita bread kind of like munchy snack um, or even like light lunch with like the carrots. I don't know. I just kind of wanted things to dip. So I got this pita bread because it looked really good. And then this is my favorite bread to get. This is the um, multi-grain sourdough with sunflower and sesame seeds brain, <laughs> brain, <laughs> bread. It is so Good. It's like my favorite to eat with eggs in the morning. Like it's just a good hearty bread. So I really like that. Um, and yeah, that's everything that I picked up. This is my very lazy dinner. I have Gossip Girl on the TV again, rewatching it. Pizza and then my salad. I just put it in this huge bowl, but it is so freaking good. So it's kind of a random dinner, but so delicious. Um, I'm just gonna, yeah, veg on the couch for a little bit. I'm very excited just to like sit here, eat good food, watch good TV, and then I'll probably read in the back. So I'll check out with you guys later. The face is all clean um, and I'm just sipping on my lemon water here. This is my second jug or mason, I don't know, second helping. 
so happy to be drinking that again. Um, I am going to close the vlog here um, because I'm going to head to bed soon. Um, it's nice to be able to go to bed early, but I also, like, I'm just excited to see Sebastian. I see him tomorrow, so it was nice to have some quiet time, but I'm ready to have um, my man back, my roommate back, my friend. Like, it's just, it's fun having him around, so I miss him, and I think I'm going to go to bed early. Um, I hope that you guys enjoyed following along what I do. Um, a weekend by myself, kind of my mundane chores. Hope that you guys enjoyed. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and I will see you in my next video. Bye! Oh, baby. Yeah.